This is Jeff Perlman, founder and CEO of Zojo, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Android device for on-device debugging. Now these steps may vary a little bit depending on the version of Android that's on your device, so be prepared for that, but they should be pretty close. So the first thing you want to do is launch the settings app. So having launched the settings app, look for system and tap on that. Mine's at the bottom. Then find about phone. Mine's at the top there. Tap on that. Scroll down until you find build number and tap that seven times. Confirm that dialog. And you may have to actually authenticate in between. I didn't show that. Then uh, go back and you'll see that you now have a developer options item. Tap that and then scroll down in that list until you find USB debugging. Tap on that and confirm. And that's all you need to do to be able to debug via a USB cable. Having completed setting up on device debugging on your Android device, go back to Zojo, go over to the navigator and under build settings, click on Android and then go to the Android debugging menu and you should see your device listed there. From there, you can just click run to run on your device. Now, if your phone or device does not appear in this menu, just go over to the navigator, click on a different item and click back and that'll refresh the menu and then you should see the item uh, listed. At that point, you can click run and uh, run on your device. That's all there is to it. Now, if you wanna enable wireless debugging via Wi-Fi, you're going to need to launch Android Studio and open a project like I've done here. You can just make a new project if you'd like. And then go to the Run Configuration menu. It's this menu here. It's next to the green Run button. It doesn't have a label. You'll click on that and choose Pair Devices Using Wi-Fi. And then this dialog box will come up. And the next step will be on your device. So go to Settings, tap on System, then on Developer Options. Then scroll down to wireless debugging, enable that, then tap on wireless debugging and tap pair, scan the QR code, and that's it, you're ready to go. You'll also notice that back in Android Studio, uh, the pair devices over Wi-Fi dialog box shows that you've successfully connected to your device. So now you're pretty much done with Android Studio so you can quit. Once you've connected, back in Zojo, go to the Android menu under Build Settings and look for Android Debugging over the Inspector and you will see when you click on the Debug Device pop-up menu that your device shows up and it says Wi-Fi indicating that you're connected via Wi-Fi and that's it, you're ready to go. And now a word about unpairing. To unpair your device, go back to Wireless Debugging under Developer Options, find your computer under uh, Paired Devices and tap on the gear icon. From there, press forget, but you're not quite done yet. Go back to Android Studio and open a project or create a new one. And you need the device manager pane displayed. If you don't have it, go to tools and choose device manager. And once you have it, click on the physical button and then you'll see your phone here listed under devices and then click on the trash can next to your, uh, in the row with your phone. And it'll ask you if you want to remove, click remove and now you're actually unpaired completely. And of course you can always debug on your computer with an Android emulator as well. So that's it. Happy debugging and thanks for watching.